From the T-Birds to Fonzie to, um, well, me. All the cool kids dig leather jackets. But real leather is expensive, difficult to clean, and made from animal hides. So some of the cool kids also prefer that their spring jackets be made of artificial leather. Stick around to hear more about this slick synthetic. Hey, hey everybody, Lauren here. Whether you call it faux leather, pleather, or if you're fancy, vegan leather, this synthetic material requires some chemical wizardry to whip up. There are two main types of artificial leather. The first is made of polyvinyl chloride, or PVC. This is the cheapest and toughest of the pleathers and is used, for example, on car seats. The second kind is made of polyurethane. It's used in clothing, footwear, furniture, even soccer balls, objects that require a soft yet durable finish. Manufacturers have been producing polyurethane leather for more than 50 years using something called a coagulation process. In this process, they spread a polyurethane paste onto a backing fabric. This paste contains the polyurethane dissolved in a solvent called dimethylformamid, or DMF for short. Then manufacturers put the whole shebang through a water bath, which makes the paste clump, leaving behind a porous spongy layer. This is what gives the soft feel to faux leather. Later, companies laminate this backing fabric to polyurethane coated release paper. That's the textured skin that makes synthetic leather look like the real thing. Now, remember that DMF? It's toxic. So companies have to wash the material over and over and over, which wastes water and energy. But according to Nicholas Smith, the head of global textiles at Bayer Material Science, the times, they are a change in. The entire textile industry wants more sustainable processes for making fabrics. So companies like Bayer Material Science want to help manufacturers get rid of DMF entirely. Bayer is developing a water-based process for making polyurethane leather. In it, globs of polyurethane get dispersed in water. Then the solution gets whipped into a foam like a meringue. The foam gets coated directly onto the textile to form the pleather's spongy layer. No DMF solvent needed, no wasteful washing or drying steps. A definite hey. thumbs up from the fonds. That's all the time we have for this Speaking of Chemistry. Be sure to check out the original article by Steve Ritter that inspired this episode. If you like this video, take a gander at this one on how blue jeans get blue by our friends at ACS Reactions. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and share.